breaking news. We continue to follow breaking news in the search for missing college student Mia Marcano. Search crews are focusing on a new area in New Smyrna Beach tonight. Sky Fox flying over that sea near US-1 in State Road 44. Mia's family says the phone belonging to the suspect in her disappearance pinged in this area after she was last seen. The sheriff also says this video we showed you yesterday is what prompted the search warrant for Armando Caballero's apartment. You can see the man carrying a bunch of items. Mia's family believes that's her blanket in his hands. Investigators use this video to get a warrant to search Caballero's home and car. It's the sixth day of searching for the missing 19-year-old Valencia College student. We have live team coverage tonight. We begin with Fox 35 Samantha Sosa live in New Smyrna Beach. So Sam, what can you tell us about the search efforts going on there right now? Hey, good evening. I want to show you something that just happened. The Orange County Sheriff's Office uh, just pulled up, bringing this mobile command center. Uh, they placed it behind this green fence, which is close to the area where they're looking. I'm right off East 3rd Avenue near Peninsula Avenue, and uh, this has been an expansive search taking place throughout the afternoon here. We've seen dozens and dozens of people in orange shirts going through a swampy and marshy area around here in New Smyrna Beach. We're told that this search expands from where we are um, near South Peninsula Avenue all the way to the Brent Walters homes on Saxon. And it's a pretty tough terrain out here. That's like a 15 minute walk. But truth be told, it, the uh, searchers are having a rough time getting through that terrain. As I said, it's very swampy and marshy. So they haven't told us what exactly they're looking for, whether it be evidence or whether it's Mia. But uh, the New Smyrna Beach Police Chief has confirmed that this search is related to the investigation into the disappearance of Mia Marcano. Mia's family is here and they're monitoring everything, doing what they can as they're hoping and praying, of course, for signs of her. Now, the uh, sheriff's office here says that they'll be here into the evening. Uh, once hits evening, they're going to go home, but they say, depending on what they find, they will be back out here tomorrow morning. We're going to stay out here and keep an eye on things for you for now. I'm live in New Smyrna Beach, Samantha Sosa, Fox 35 News. Thank you, Sam. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi joins us live from Mia's apartment complex, continuing our team coverage. Dave, today we learned the FBI is helping with the search. That's right, Ray. And the thing is, though, the sheriff's department here in Orange County hasn't gone into much detail about how the FBI is helping, only to say that they're involved with technology. But they are added to a long list of people helping in this search and now spans three counties. Our emergency response team and others have conducted nearly 30 searches since Mia has been missing. Now the FBI joins about 175 law enforcement personnel and countless members of Mia's family. Search locations include the Sable Club apartments where the prime suspect Armando Caballero was found dead, Blanchard Park, Lake Monroe, and New Smyrna Beach where families say Caballero's cell phone pinged. Deputies were back out at the Arden Villas apartments as they have been all week. Someone who lives there recorded this video of officers lined up along a pond near the complex. I personally do think that that should have been something that should have been checked from the beginning because if this is the last place we know that Mia was, why not check? Uh, the family says that they're extremely thankful for all the community tips that continue to come in. You can actually go on an Instagram page, Bring Me a Home, that they've created that has tips on how you can also help in this search. And the sheriff's office is asking anybody who is out this weekend to keep an eye out for anything that can help in the investigation. In Orlando, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. Dave, thank you. Fox 35's Valerie Boy continues our live team coverage tonight with new reaction from Mia's family. Valerie. Hey there, Luann. Well, since um, the announcement about the FBI assisting was just made, the family says they're still trying to process that information. They say it's been so difficult since Mia went missing. It's extremely hard because in the back of your mind, you're wondering is she tired? Is she scared? The family of Mia Marcano says it's been extremely difficult since she went missing. It's heart wrenching. It's, it's heartbreaking. This is this is our baby. Her cousin Adriana Sue says Mia is the shining light in their family. She's funny. She's goofy. She's silly. She's very, very family oriented. She loves her family and her family loves her back. 
She says the 19 year old started attending Valencia College last year. She was considering something maybe in the sports medicine field or physical therapy, but just like any other young person just getting started, she was open to any ideas. Adriana says Mia is her son's godmother. They're praying she comes home soon. Her life is just getting started and we need to bring her home. We are a family of faith, but most of all, we have faith in Mia, that Mia is still fighting, that she's waiting for us to come to her, for us to find her. And a vigil takes place at 7 o'clock here at Arden Villa's apartments. Again, that's just in a half an hour. Live in East Orlando, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.